day two of our pre-season training camp in Cheshire and we played our second pre-season friendly of the campaign so far. We played against Accrington Stanley and here's some of the action. Well, Jack, those were the highlights from the game. What was your take on it? Obviously, in pre-season, results aren't really the main thing, are they? Um, no, but they still matter. I um, spoke about it after Saturday, about how you want to form good habits as quickly as you can. Um, so we're still disappointed to um, to lose the game, but in context of pre-season and our preparations, it was, um, it was good. A lot of positives for us again. We had a fairly young team. Um, playing the predominant part of the game, certainly the first hour of the game, um, and then even the last 15 minutes, Stephen Bradley came on. So, a number of younger players involved, um, heavy conditions underfoot in terms of the weather conditions have made it that way. But pleased in the main with what we got. Thought we could have been a little bit better last half hour, the ones that came on, but you know, a number of those players have had the chance to go and um, fine tune their preparations on, on Friday. One of the players that did get half an hour today was Kevin Nisbet. He had a fantastic summer with Scotland, playing in all three of their Euro 2020 games. Well, he spoke to us about how important that experience was and how it will benefit him in the future. Yeah, it was great uh, on a personal level. Uh, playing at the Euros is, is a dream come true. Uh, of course, we didn't do as well as we, we thought we would, but the experience was great. Jack, um, Kevin's obviously back in the squad uh, now. First of all, to have a Scottish international at the club and to, to play in Euros, it's it's a big thing for Hibernian, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully it's, um, it, it's a reflection of the work that we've done with Kevin since he came in across the whole club. And I think he would acknowledge that. Um, he has done the hardest part of it, which is performing on pitch and having the type of season he did domestically with us. And then making a big enough impression on Steve when he first was involved in the group to, to continue his involvement with the Euros and then um, I think it showed the faith that Steve had in him that he took the pitch in all the games as well. So, brilliant for him. Um, as I said earlier, a, a good reflection, very positive reflection on us as a club as well. Um, so yeah, it's proud for us I think as a club and I think that everybody associated with Hibs and Hibs supporters probably enjoyed that added interest if you like of watching one of your own players be involved with the national team. I know we spoke about this yesterday, but the squad is slowly starting to come together now. Uh, Josh Doig and, and Melka Halberg was, was back today. Yeah, so another two players into the group. Um, Melka and Josh back in today. It's nice to see them first and foremost, because I've not seen them for a while now. I think they're delighted to get out of the house. Um, and we'll see how they look over the course of tomorrow and whether we can involve them quickly on Friday or not because they're going to have to try and catch up pretty quickly and to be ready for the games we've got lying ahead as well. Both naturally fit players in any case and I think they've looked after themselves during the close season. But certainly, first and foremost, nice to see them from a personal point of view and, and then professionally it strengthens the, the options we have within the group as well. 
Absolutely, Jack. Thank you very much for joining us. The lads will continue working hard here in Cheshire for the rest of the week ahead of that Stoke City pre-season friendly. Uh, you can stay with us um, for exclusive content, follow all of our channels um, to make sure you don't miss anything.